The gift of sight for not just one. <laughs> or two. Yes, I see your face, I see your face, I see your face. But 1,000 people getting free cataract removal. Don't, don't cry. Man. I can see everybody's facial features now. It's a little blurry with my uh, tears coming out. <laughs> <laughs> the surgery is paid for by Jimmy Donaldson, better known online as Mr. Beast. They can't see, but we have all the technology to fix it. Yep, half of all the blindness in the world is people who need a 10 minute surgery. The most followed individual on YouTube, teaming up with ophthalmologist Jeff Levinson in Jacksonville, Florida. Dr. Levinson's Gift of Sight program provides free cataract surgery to uninsured patients who are legally blind due to cataract. Everything looks so more clear. Yeah. <laughs> to make this day even more special, since you're about to graduate high school and go to college, we wanted to give you $50,000 to put towards college. Giving back has been important to Mr. Beast since he first started making money on YouTube. I just got my first brand deal for $10,000 and I just gave it away. So I did, I just literally, I got it, and then I went outside and I gave it to a homeless person. And with this latest stunt, Mr. Beast paying it forward across international borders. Nearly half the population with curable blindness doesn't have access to this surgery. So I wanted to provide this to as many people as possible. The video racking up more than 40 million views in less than a day. The number one trending video on YouTube over the weekend. You know, so many people think this, you know, people on YouTube are just, it's just all drama, drama yes, yeah. exactly. silliness. Yeah, yeah. and you, you guys are focused on so many good things. Which and is something I would like to add, like most creators, like I've messaged thousands and almost every single one of them was like, yes, how can I help? They weren't like, what's in it for me? Or I don't know, like they're like genuinely, they, I was shocked. Will Gans, ABC News, New York.